Hi, welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover SOAP services automation using SOAP UI. So first we need to understand what is SOAP UI. SOAP UI is a tool from the smart VA mainly for the functional automation testing of the web services. But it also supports performance and the security testing of the web services. Uh, it supports both kind of web service automation like uh, SOAP and REST. So web services can be created either by the SOAP or, or the REST method. In SOAP UI we can automate both kind of web services. Two different versions available for the SOAP UI. SOAP UI Pro and SOAP UI. So SOAP UI is a free version but Pro we have to take the licenses. What is web service? So it's a type of application or the software component which does not provide any GUI for user to interact. We can interact with that kind of application by passing input to a specified XML format and we are again we are getting the output in the XML as well. Both the SOAP and the REST uses HTTP protocol to communicate the data or to transfer the data from the client to the server machines. Web services uh, mainly use XML uh, behind the scene and few other things that we need to understand is the WSDL, SOAP and UDDI. We will cover these uh, parts like XML, WSDL, SOAP and UDDI in other sessions. Two types of services are available as the SOAP service and the REST service. In SOAP, we should have in a soap service we should have visual file wsdl file and while working with the rest services we should have wadl file or the uri i'll explain this wsdl and the wadl in other sessions but here i can just uh, you know give basic information like this wsdl file have the complete information about what are the different functionalities available in a particular service apart from it what kind of input that the particular service can take, what kind of output that particular service can provide. So every information about a web service will be placed in this visual file. This visual file is again a XML file. Visual file is created even before services uh, development. So visual file will be used by the developer for development of the services and we are using this visual file for automating these services so i have a visual file uh, the url is this i'm going to use the visual file for our automation whenever you are going to automate your web service uh, we will have this uh, we ha will have the url of this visual file i'm picking this url and moving to my soap ui so here is the SOAP UI. On the SOAP UI, first we need to understand what is workspace. So I'm moving back to my slides and I'll give you some basic information about the workspace. Yes. So whenever we are going to work in SOAP UI, we must create a workspace. Even by default, we are getting a workspace. So in SOAP UI, first we need to create a workspace. Workspace is the place where all our projects will be saved. Workspace is a single XML file. In single XML, XML file, we can have multiple projects. Even a project in SOAP UI is again a XML file. So I can say workspace is a XML file which can have multiple projects, but each and every project is again a XML file. I can relate X, uh, workspace with the domain like a single domain can have multiple projects so single workspace can have multiple projects i'll show you the hierarchy in the soap ui so projects can have the multiple test suites each test suite can have multiple test cases and each test case can have multiple test steps this is the hierarchy of the soap ui so that's a workspace then we can have the multiple projects we can have multiple test suites each test suite can have multiple test case and each test case ha can have multiple steps. 
so now i am going to practical session of this so moving to my soap ui so here in the soap ui by default this workspace is created that's projects i can change the workspace i'm going to the file new workspace we can give name of any of the workspace like i have given testing word so now my workspace is created in xml file i just saved it and here we can see my workspace is created now moving to uh, uh to create a project so i'm right click on the workspace click on the new project here it is asking for if we are working on the soap it's asking for the visual definition visual file i press ok what is the name of the project that i want to create i'm saying like uh, my wms automation so whatever the you know project name you want to give you can give and we need to give the path of the visual file so that is the path of visual file i click on ok button and here it is searching for that particular services and all the features that provided by the services listed over here so now i can explain like uh, we have a service in which these are the different functionalities provided by the service like we can get weather forecast by city uh, city forecast by chip we can get uh, city weather information by chip and get weather information so these three services are provided by this web service or i'll say these three features are provided by the web service but here we can see it's showing it twice sometimes like you know we have the different versions of the web services so here it's showing that this service has the two versions this and this maybe we can go for the previous version or the latest version so both the versions are available so once you know project is created now i'm moving to project right click on that a project can have multiple test suites so i'm going to the project right click on that new test suite so whatever the name you want to give of the test suite i mentioned like smoke test suite so now i have a project in which i have one test suite even we can create multiple test suite but as of now we are just creating one test suite each test suite can have multiple test cases so i'm going to the test suite right click on that new test case giving the name like tc001 it's my first test case so inside the test suite now we have a test case now inside the test case we can have multiple steps so i'm going to the test step right click on that add a step it's a soap test request so i'm selecting that i'm giving the name step one it is asking for which service you want to hit so i'm hitting get city forecast by chip okay and giving the name step one that is fine so we will check one step is created here's the input field i'm providing the input like 10017 so my one test case or i'll say the one test step in a first test case is created i can run this and here we will see you know uh, output is generated so my service is hitting and we are getting some out output even we are giving the input in this like gy format which is provided by soap ui pro but if we are working on soap ui then we need to go for this xml and we'll have to provide the input over here so this gy or i'll say this graphical user interface is available only if we are using soap ui pro same in the output we are getting this you know ui version but if we are going for the soap ui only we're not going for the soap ui pro this xml response will be available so we have seen like we have created a test read we have created a test case and then test step in the same way we can hit more services like i want to create one more test case so i'm going to test suite new test case tc002 and this time i want to hit other service so i'm going to the test steps of the test case 2 soap test request 
step one uh, this time I'm hitting get city weather by Jim okay and again I'm okay I click on the okay so one the zero one eight there's the different input that I have provided and I'm running uh, I click on the run button running this test case and in this case it is not able to give the response so it give the error like they are not able to find the response for a particular chip so we need to test that the response is correct or not we need to validate it later but as of now my service is hitting and we are getting some uh, we are getting some response here we can check like you know xml is created so everything is done like we have created a test suite test case uh, test steps so moving to the slides again this is the hierarchy where we have gone through that's a workspace project then test suites test case and test steps workspace we have gone through project uh, so let me explain you a project is project is again a you know uh, it's xml file which contains all the test suites test cases and test steps so when we are saving the project a xml file will be created so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you want to know more about us you can go to the, the testingworld.com and if you want to get any training support you can call us or you can whatsapp us 9187439131 if you want to check our student feedback you can go to this link thanks